Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today is transitioning day. I have a Christmas DIY and a winter DIY. I will be transitioning from Christmas to winter DIY projects today. So let's get started. DIY number one. Here are the supplies that you need. I have just some random leftover picks and from a pick that come from Dollar Tree. I have a Believe sign that came from Family Dollar. I also have some Apple Barrel paint in Burnt Umber, Black, Snow White, and Nutmeg Brown. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint our belief sign and I'm using the burnt umber to paint the outside frame of the sign. Well, I'll be painting the inside too. The inside and the outside of the frame. And I'm going to give it one coat because I will be distressing. And now that that has been painted, and dry. The next thing that I will be doing is painting the the believe word, and I'll give it each letter one coat of the nutmeg brown. But I'll be painting the Christmas tree and the little snowflake and the deer head in there a different color. And I'm gonna give everything one coat. And if I didn't say these are farm farmhouse, I'm sorry. I mean, I meant to say these two projects are farmhouse um, projects. So now that everything has been painted and the Christmas tree, I just mixed the um, antique parchment. And I don't know, I said it was Snow White paint, but it's called Antique Parchment by Apple Bear. I mixed that with the brown. The burnt amber and I painted the Christmas tree with that and I used the antique parchment on the snowflakes. Right here I am distressing with the same antique parchment. I'll start with a light distressing and then do it heavy where I feel like I wanted to see it a heavier distress in different spots but if you decide to do this you distress to your liking to your taste or until your eyes are happy. And I am distressing the entire frame. And now that it has been distressed and it's dry, I'm going to take some of those garland ties and I'm just going to twist tie two together to embellish the top of the frame. But you can use whatever type of embellishments you like or you don't have to use any embellishments at all. I just decided to do so. And I'm just gonna use those picks, cut them down, pine cone, and I'll tie a simple jute bow and add a button to that and dust it to make it look like it has been painted on. And that's it, and there it is. I think this came out absolutely adorable leave me a comment guys and let me know what you think <clears throat> let me know how you feel about this breathe Christmas farmhouse sign I'm sorry I said breathe Lord have mercy believe the word is believe not breathe it's early y'all. It is early in the morning. I'm just trying to get started. Okay, let's move on. DIY number two. Here are the supplies that you need for this project and it's simple. You don't need that much. I have a glue stick, some jute twine from Walmart. The glue stick came from Dollar Tree. I have a home sweet home shelf stand from Mm, where did I get that from? Dollar General. 
I have some scrapbook paper from Dollar Tree and some of those peel and stick letters from Walmart. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is, and I'm going to do it on the back of the sign. I'm going to use the back because I want the front to stay like that so it can be a double-sided sign. And I'm just going to take that scrapbooking paper, place the sign on the paper, trace it, and cut it out. And I'm just going to glue the paper to the sign and wrap some jute twine around it. Make a simple bow and a button and that will be it. Let me take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. You're so deeply appreciated. And hello and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for joining the family. And if you're new, anything you like in this video, give me a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you too can be a part of my YouTube family and I love you guys to the moon and back. I really, really do. And right here I'm just taking the sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree and sanding the edges in a downward motion to um, get rid of all that excess, excess scrap of paper off the edges and I'm just going to arrange my peel and stick letters to spell the word cozy and as I said before I just take the jute twine wrap it around a few times and tie a simple bow And there it is. I also added a jingle bell. I felt like it needed something. Um, so, yeah, I added a little jingle bell. And there it is. Leave my comment, guys. Let me know what you think of this cute little cozy sign. And here's the final reveal. I hope you guys like these projects as much as I do. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you too can be a part of my YouTube family. And if so, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Drop down, click all, and YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. Bye-bye.